Today, we have a tough one. This is relevant for us taking the civil and environmental FE exam. Specifically, this is under water treatment and wastewater treatment. Grab your pencil, get your calculator ready, read this problem statement, write what you're given, know exactly what you want to find, and try this on your own. Try it out, see if you get stuck, see if you get an answer, then check your solution with my video solution. Here we go. So what we have is a community and it has a present population of 30,000 and the present per capita water consumption is 160 gallons per day. The population in 25 years is estimated to equal 40,000. The existing water treatment plant has a design capacity of 12 MGD, meaning million gallon per day. Assume a linear rate of population growth and use a peak demand factor of 1.8. The time in years from the present, it will take for the existing water treatment plant to reach its design capacity for maximum daily consumption is most nearly what? It's a lot. So it's a lot. This is a tough one. If you can do these hard ones, you're definitely going to get the easy ones right for those fundamental FE type problems. Let's start with what we're given. So let's start with that and denote everything we're given. And what we will do is start with the present population. So that population, we can imagine a community like this, and I can draw a few people in there. Let me just draw two people and that will have a present population. I'll call that the population at present is given to be the 30,000. So that's done. Now we're told the present per capita water consumption is 160 gallon per day. I want you to know this is per capita, per capita meaning per person. Just use that fancy term capita, 160 gallons per person per day, gallons per capita per day. So that's going to be the demand. It's the water demand for each person. So the demand in this case at present is going to be the 160 gallons per person or per capita per day. So that is going to be given. Now let's continue. The population in 25 years is estimated to equal 40,000. Okay, that's important. So they give us that and they tell us in 40 years from the present, let's put here 40 years or is it 25 years? It's 25 years from the present. Let me write that. We have a new population. And it does increase, so let's say I have more people in this population, and this will have a population of 40,000. So that's going to be the population after 25 years. I'll put population 25 is 40,000. So that part is given. Now with that, the existing water treatment plant has a design capacity of 12 MGD. Very important. This is the design capacity for that treatment plant. So let's put that here. The treatment plant, water plant, will have a certain capacity. And we can visualize, let's say, a tank here. And we know we have the other components. Let's say an aeration tank and so on and all of them. Let me just put a pipe here and so on. So this we can imagine as the treatment plant. And that has a capacity of that 12 MGD. 12 million gallon per day. So million gallon per day. We're going to take care of that. Okay, that part is done. Assume linear rate of population growth. So this is an assumption we have to make. So it's linear population growth, linear population growth. Okay, we have that part and this will be important because it's going to guide us through the solution. Okay, now what else? Use a peak demand factor 1.8. So this is a peak in factor and we'll see how that's going to apply. We use these often when we calculate water demand and all of that. So we have to know how to apply these. The peak in factor is 1.8. That's given. And now that's basically all the numbers. We denoted those. The time in years from the present. So the time from the present. And notice that present, the population is, is 30,000. The time from that present, it will take for this existing water treatment plant to reach its design capacity for the maximum daily consumption is most nearly what? We want to find a time, a certain time. That's our goal. So let's actually just denote that here as what we want to find. And it's going to be a time T 
where the treatment plant water plant is going to reach capacity you can simply say that that's what we need and now let's go into the solution quick pause if you're liking what we have so far hit that like and subscribe button below and if you're looking to get more hands-on practice where you're going to solve more of these hard problems you're going to solve basic problems fundamental problems and learn the fundamental concepts that are absolutely needed to pass your civil fe exam check out the link in the description below now for the solution where do we start where do we even start population projection this is in the handbook and here in this problem it tells us we have linear rate of population growth so we're gonna start with that formula that's gonna help us it's gonna get us somewhere let's write that down it's under population modeling and we're gonna focus on linear population projection or the algebraic projection so let's write that formula from the handbook pt the population is sometime in the future is going to equal to our p naught the population at present that we compare to the future and that's going to be plus our k times delta t okay already i see something delta t no what am i trying to find i want to find a time in years so that time term this might help me out i can solve for that delta t and that will maybe get me that answer. So now before that, let's actually examine what we have. Okay, I have my present of 30,000. So maybe I can put that in there. I have my PT here of let's say 40,000. I have my K I do not, my K I do not have. But I have my change in time of 25 years. So if I have my change in time, I have 40,000. I have a present population. My only unknown would be K that doesn't really help me solve for change in t it doesn't help me solve for a time in the future where the water plant is at full capacity so that doesn't help me using that approach but that gets us a number a crucial number it gives us the growth rate so this is a classic way to find the growth rate from the data that we're given we're gonna do that first we need it we need it to finally we can go back and reuse that same formula at the end with that growth rate so what we will do is find the k value we're going to rearrange this and say the k value is going to be our pt minus our p naught divided by our change in time so our pt is going to be the time in the future that we're given that's forty thousand. so we're going to put that as forty thousand people and we do that minus the starting time which is thirty thousand at present so we put that as p naught thirty thousand. And we take this divided by the change in time, which is 25 years. So now that allows me to get that crucial growth rate. Notice it's a population per time. It's a growth rate. So we take the 40,000. We're going to put this in the calculator minus 30,000 divided by the 25. So we get 400 for the growth rate. And it's a growth rate of persons per year. So we have the K value. Now let's keep going and see, okay, I have a K value. I can use that. What we need to find is actually our change in time. Still using linear projection. But now the problem I have is I know my K. This is good. My P naught I can still reuse because it says the time from the present. The time from the present for the existing water treatment plant to reach its design capacity. So I can use that as the present because we're taking that time from the present. That's our P naught. So I can use that as 30,000. This PT, I cannot use 40,000. If we do, we're just working backwards using these same numbers. I need to find a new PT. And this PT is a crucial number we need. Conceptually, this PT is the population where we have the maximum daily consumption or the population in the future when that water treatment plant is at capacity in the future population where the water treatment plant is at capacity so we need to find that population and the way we do that is using the rest of the numbers this stuff so we're going to use the demand here we're going to use the capacity and we're going to use the peaking factor because that peaking factor 
is going to account for maximum daily consumption. Usually we have the average daily consumption. We're going to increase it with a peaking factor to get the maximum daily consumption. So let's find that. Let's find that crucial number here, which is going to be our PT. And we're going to redefine it and color code it now because we're not using that same PT. We're going to say our new PT, this PT is going to be at capacity is going to be what we need to find. So that PT to find it, we're going to actually consider a few things. We're going to take the total capacity of MGD and divide that by the demand because at the end the units will cancel and we're going to get capita. But I want us to know the demand has to be the maximum daily demand considering the peaking factor. So let's find that first. So the max daily demand, max daily demand. So this max tells me consider the peaking factor is going to be determined by taking our peaking factor times the demand that we're given. And we will say the peaking factor is 1.8. 1.8 means it's 180% of the average daily demand. We increase it by 180%. This is in decimal form. If you take 1.8 times 100, you get 180%. That's what that means. So likely it will be given in the problem statement. So it will be 180% on top of, we multiply it by the average daily demand, which is given to be 160 gallon per capita per person per day. So now that allows me to get the max daily demand, max daily demand which is what we need because the problem again says at max capacity max consumption so take 1.8 times 160 and we get 288 so 288 gallon it's still gallon per person per capita per day so that's going to be the max day to demand now let's go back here and find that population when we reach capacity when that plant is at capacity we're going to say that the population at capacity is going to equal to our capacity of the treatment plant, which is going to be this number of 12 MGD. The M means million. So it's going to be 12 times 10 to the 6 gallon per day. So let's write it like this. It's going to equal to the capacity on top. And we're going to divide this by the max daily demand that we just determined. Max daily. And let me put that as demand. And then we can keep going and say that the capacity is going to be the 12 times 10 to the 6 gallon per day. Notice I put times 10 to the 6 to account for the million. And we take this divided by the 288 gallon per capita per day. And notice one thing, units cancel very nice that's what i want if you had them flip they wouldn't cancel or the cap the capita here would go on top since it's at the bottom here we're gonna get the capita to be on top also if you took 288 divided by 12 times 10 to the 6 you're gonna get a number so tiny you're gonna be like this doesn't make sense that can't be the population so it's the big number divided by the small number units cancel we get capita at the end for the unit that's population so if we do that in the calculator, we take 12 e to the 6 divided by 288, we get a population. This is the population again when at capacity, when the design capacity of the treatment plant is at maximum daily consumption. So to do that, we will say this number is going to be 41667 persons. This is a population. So now we have that, we can go back. To our original formula that we started with from the handbook linear projection we can go back and put that in here we have our p naught we have our k we needed that k and that's why that initial data is given that's usually the case for population projection they'll give you data you find k the growth rate and you use that growth rate for any future calculations so now we will go back to this formula and we're going to do it on the side here we're going to say our pt in blue is going to equal to our p naught at present and i'm going to do plus the k delta t 
I'm finding the delta T. This delta T is at capacity. So the PT is going to be the 41667 is going to equal to the P naught, the P naught recall. That's going to be from the present. And it says from the present. So we're going to put that as 30,000 here for P naught plus the K value will be the value of 400. So that's going to stay the same. The growth rate will not change. We already found it times the delta t and now if you think about this we have the future population that delta t is going to give me a time a change in time from the present to a future population where the water treatment plant is at capacity because that population is going to make the water treatment plant hit capacity that amount of people is going to be a consumption rate into the plant at capacity 41,667 so we're going to see the delta t right there the change in time from the present to that population at capacity will be the answer so let's do the 141,667 minus the 30,000 and we take this divided by 400 and we get a value to be about 29.167 years and that right there is our answer it says it's going to take about 29 or in this case closest answer would be d it's going to take about 30 years for that treatment plant from the present to reach design capacity for maximum daily consumption